Hi, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and welcome back to the Hive. In this quick tips video, we'll be taking a look at configuring switch entities in Home Assistant as light entities so that we can then add them to light groups in amongst other light entities. And I'm going to try to get this done in less than five minutes. So while I roll the intro, take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos each week and let's get started. So in my hallway here, I have some downlights that I'm controlling with just some Xiaomi Acara smart switches. And they work great for their use case. But because they're controlling lights, and more often than not, I want to turn on all the hallway lights at once, I kind of want a nice way to set them up as a group. And it'd also be nice if Home Assistant recognized these entities as light sources. So to make that happen, I'm going to use the light switch integration. Now we'll pop over to Home Assistant and I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code and we're going to take a look at the configuration.yaml file. Now in order to set up the light switch entities, I'm just going to go below these group entities and we'll actually take a look at groups uh, in another video. So we're going to use platform and switch indent here. And we're going to uh, give this a name. And in this case, I'm going to call this one hallway light one. We then need to point it to the entity, which we're going to do with entity underscore ID. We're going for switch dot. Uh, and we've got this one here, which uh, you'll see thanks to the Visual Studio Code integration is pointing to hallway one. So I'm going to do that there. Now, because I have four hallway lights, I'm going to do this three more times. So platform is, oops, switch name is hallway light two and the entity underscore ID is switch and we should be able to get if we use our arrow keys. So this one here is hallway two. Uh, and we'll do the last two here as well. Okay, great. So I now have my four switch entities uh, set up. And if I save this by hitting a command S on my keyboard on my Mac, and we're going to go back over to configuration, and we're going to go to server controls, we're going to check our configuration and we get configuration valid. Now, because we've modified our configuration.yaml, the main file, we need to restart Home Assistant core. So we're going to do that and we'll take a look when the Home Assistant instance comes back up. Okay, great. So Home Assistant has just finished starting. Uh, so if I scroll through here, what I'm looking for is our light section here. And you'll see now we have hallway light one, two, three, and four. And those are the four lights that we set up. And if I turn on hallway four, that's turned on. Hallway three, two, and one. Now, these switches here aren't exactly exciting. They don't have any uh, color temperature or uh, RGB because they're just a switch. They're just on and off and that's okay. And you'll note that they also double up on these lights here. So if I turn on hallway one on this switch here, hallway light one is on here. And if I then turn that off down here, it's off over here. So we're just interacting with the same thing. And that might seem counterintuitive, but there are reasons for this uh, and we'll get into that uh, in a future video. So that's casting switch entities as light entities in Home Assistant. I hope you found this useful. That's all we have for this video. And I do hope that it helped you in your home automation journey. 
Be sure to comment down below with a home automation idea that you would like to see me cover in a future video. Don't forget to follow Hive Mind Automation on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'll put those links in the video description down below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below as well to give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. While you're at it, you might as well hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I release new videos each week. Lastly, if you enjoy what I'm doing here and you want to help to support the channel, there is a buy me a coffee link in the video description down below. Contributions made through buy me a coffee are put towards making more and better content for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.